Tawbah, you engaged in something powerful. The problem with us, we lose conviction in Allah's power. So we think Allah is not powerful. And we think that he's not going to grab hold of us when we do things that are wrong. And when we, when we are astray, if a person doesn't read Salah, it doesn't affect Allah, it affects them. If a person does not want to dress appropriately, believe me, it does not affect Allah, it affects them. And it definitely affects them. But they don't realize. And it will affect them. Subhanallah. When a person wants to engage in bad habits, it will affect them. It doesn't affect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا تنفعه طاعة الطاعين ولا يضره معصية العاصين. The good deeds of those who do good, they don't help Allah, and the bad deeds of those who do bad do not harm Allah. Subhanahu wa taala. It's for us. This is us. It's all about us. Subhanallah. It will help me or it will harm me. So I better be focused, and I have a beautiful way out. A tawbah. I can turn to Allah at any time and say, Allah, forgive me. Let me gain focus again. You know what? This might be my last few days in this dunya. It may be my last few days in the dunya. So it's important for us to understand the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Something else that makes her different is that she believes firmly in the taqdeer and the destiny that Allah, the decree of Allah that he has chosen for her. Sometimes we make a lot of dua and Allah does not want to give us something. We are convinced that that was the best thing that could have happened. That is a believing female. May Allah grant us all shifa and cure. Sometimes we have a disease and Allah says, I don't want you to be cured from this because I want you to die in a condition that you are the closest to me. So die with a smile. Thanking Allah, Ya Allah, you made me sick. I made tawbah. I thank you. I'm really concerned about going into the akhirah. But Ya Allah, my last few days were the best because I constantly made tawbah. You gave me such a chance. I'm far better off than one who just died suddenly in a huge car crash and had no chance to engage in tawbah. Wasn't that Allah's gift for you? So when we get to the Akhirah, we are convinced that Ya Allah, you gave me such a powerful gift to be able to get to a sickness which brought me closer to you. Sometimes you lose a child. Sometimes you lose a family member. Sometimes you go through a divorce. Sometimes you go through some form of difficulty, sickness, financial loss, marital turbulence, whatever else you're going through. A, a child who's not obedient, whatever else. Allah says, that is for you to get closer to me. If that brought you closer to Allah, it was a gift of Allah upon you. That's what we are focused on. That's what we know. That's what we realize. Because this is why we are brought closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through difficulty and calamity. And like I say, we make dua with conviction. But we are also convinced that if we don't receive what we are asking for, that that too was the best. The Prophet says, amazing are the affairs of a true believer. All his matters are always full of goodness. All of them. He's never upset. In asabathu sarra'u shakara, fakana khayr Allah. When goodness comes in his direction, he is thankful to Allah. So it's, it was better for him because it brought him close to Allah. How many of us, when goodness comes to us, we draw closer to Allah? If we don't, we are not true mu'mineen because the hadith says, li amri mu'min. Amazing are the affairs of a believer. So if we are not, if we, if, if we have a promotion at work and a salary increase and we have millions and billions, our business deals are going right and we've bought the cars we wanted, the houses we wanted, the luxuries we wanted, the perfumes we wanted, the accessories we wanted, the adayas we wanted, whatever else we wanted. We've got all of that, but it did not bring us closer to Allah. Then we have lost. We cannot call ourselves true believers. We might be believers, but not true believers. Because this hadith says, when goodness comes to the direction of a true believer, you find him thankful. It brings him close to Allah. Shakar. A shukr means a person who acknowledges the gift of Allah by worshipping Allah and obeying. That is the meaning of shukr. To thank Allah, to acknowledge from Allah by obeying his instruction. Imagine someone says, Oh, I thank you Allah, but you are not dressed properly. That's not thankfulness. Imagine a, you give a person a million dinar and they say, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And they know that you don't like, for example, uh, let's, let me give you a simple example. They know that you don't like sour milk, for example, just a thumbs up, just an example off the cuff. And they come to you after you've given them a million dinars with a whole pint of sour milk and tell you, please accept this as a gift. And you're so upset, but you know, I don't like this. You know, it's bad. That's one example. The other example is, Imagine you give a person a million dinars and they come back and throw eggs at your house. What would happen? Is that gratitude? 
but they've told you thank you thank you really i appreciate it their mouths said something but their deeds are showing you something else why do we do that with allah when he's given you your life your breathing your eyes your eyes can see without a little knob on the side focusing somewhere no your eyes can see absolutely everything by the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are automatic focused your ears are for automatic you know, you, you can hear without having had a knob on your earlobes, trying to twist it around like it was an old radio that people used to listen to. No, amazing. And yet we are not thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where are we? What is happening to us? We're losing focus. We don't even know. We don't even realize. So my brothers and sisters, it's important for us to understand when we make a dua to Allah, when we call out to Allah through his gift, sometimes he will not give us what we want because he knows that is better for us. Don't become upset. The ending of that hadith says, Wa in sabara fakana khayran lah. A true believer, when something negative befalls them or reaches them or touches them or they are harmed by something, they are patient, they are forbearant, they persevere, they don't lose hope. So it is better for them. It's better for them. What's better for you? It's better for you to be patient. Don't ever question Allah. Ya Allah, why me? Why did my child have to go? Why did I have to suffer this cancer? Why did I have to be affected by AIDS? May Allah protect us all. May Allah grant us cure, even miraculously. Amen. Why did I have to be this? And why did I? No, don't ask that question. Thank Ya Allah. If this is what you want, if this is how you want me to go, I do not compete with you. You are my maker. But I ask you to cure me through your mercy and your power. That's the proper way. Ya Allah, if this is how you want me to go, I'm not going to compete with you because you are my maker. You made me in the first place. So you, I belong to you. You own me totally. You own me completely, Ya Allah. But I beg you to grant me cure, Ya Allah, from this disease I have. I mean, that's the way we should be looking at it. I don't want to compete with the decree of Allah. But at the same time, I can never ever. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. Whilst we don't want to compete with the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should be making dua that Allah grant us the cure and Allah open our doors. No one wants to die, but everyone is going to die. Like I always say, how many people want Jannah? Put up your hand. Everyone. Who wants to die now? Put up your hand. No one. How are you going to go to Jannah? If you're not going to die, but you might say, well, I don't want to die right now. Believe me, the weakness of man, no matter when death comes to him, he's always upset. But then why are you making it? Ya Allah, grant me Jannah, grant me Jannah. Allah says, okay, this is your Jannah. He says, but Ya Allah, grant me a long life. I don't want to die, Ya Allah. I don't want to die, Ya Allah. So what happened to the Jannah? Come on, we want to give it to you. Tuhfatul mu'min al-mawtu, the gift of a true believer, is actually death because now you're going to get what you want. It's like a child.